velour legume serenade. Wish I was being lowered a great height on a stage right now or yesterday, say, and reliving it right now, side saddle on a swing, dangled with some sort of invisible wire system like a giant crescent moon, but instead of the moon, it's a gherkin or a cashew or a carrot or a legume, so dizzyingly big it just looks weird to read to you. And the first line is, poetry is in a shabby state. And the second line is, that's how I like it. The legume has to be minimum 27 times the size of me. I was once accused of internalizing normativity and I was like, normativity? Get out of here. Although I did once internalize her brother, Gary. He was nice. He didn't exist. You knew that already. You were just playing along. Do legumes have dimples? Maybe we need a retractable spike to avoid getting too comfortable in the rut. It would be ace if the material was velour, a velour legume. When I said get out of here, it was a joke. I didn't mean it. Behind me plus legume, the walls suddenly open little trapdoors and six tongues come out flapping to the tune of don't leave, I didn't mean it, the show is about to begin. I would like a jacket made out of the skins of kiwi fruits, but it seems cruel. Maybe a vest? If I work on my abs. Hi Norma, didn't expect to see you here. Say hi to Gary for me. I have this gift for the serenade where I can read in front of an audience without a book in my hands. I got taught it by a spoken word artist. Love you all. It's important here for this poem because the book or the piece of paper would get in the way of me saying what I want to say, which is, oh, Hoist me up, hedonist engineers of yore. Whisk me away, whisk me back up. Hoist and whisk in one motion, if you can, in the dimple of my legume covered in velour. Sweeties, twist your hips and hoist and whisk. That's it, that's the motion. Darlings, 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 whisk and hoist me away on my velour legume. I love you.